What's up, Hambone here, and this is my first match from the full release of the Titanfall game. And uh, I am playing on PC, even though it does say I am using an Xbox controller, but uh, I don't like keyboard and mouse, so I use a controller when I play. Um, you will notice that my screen is a little bit small, and that is because uh, I did run into this problem in the beta, and for whatever reason I forgot about it, or I didn't think it would happen um, in the full release of the game with my software but it did but I caught it right after this game so this will be the only game that I actually uh, will have the smaller screen for unless for whatever reason my software happens to do something weird and does it on its own but yeah uh, that will be fixed and full screen from now on um, so I, what I'm doing here is I'm playing the campaign and the campaign in this game is uh, online matches on specific maps with specific game modes and all it is is just a match with a little bit of story beforehand and a little bit afterward and that's really all it is it's it's nothing special it's not like there's like some at least I, I haven't completed all the campaign missions yet but I assume if they're all like they are um, for the first couple ones there's nothing like you know super special about the campaign um, as far as I can tell, maybe there isn't like an, a true ending to it, but um, so far it just seems like you know storied missions. That's a, that's about it, um, which isn't bad. But I don't really see myself coming back to this a lot personally, um, just because you know I, if I want to play a game, unless unless I want to play that specific game mode on that specific map, um, you know, I'm not going to really bother hopping back into the campaign too much myself um, but it doesn't mean that there won't be people who like who like doing the campaign uh, it might be a good place to run into uh, newer players since I imagine that only the newer players are going to be playing the campaign because once they beat it they're probably going to switch over to um, the classic multiplayer for this so it might be a good place if you're looking to uh, stomp on some people um, a good place to look especially playing the first mission you might run into some, you know, newer players, some worse players, but I personally am going to just be playing um, the classic multiplayer once I get past the uh, all the campaign levels. Um, but you'll notice that my aim and my movement in this match are a little off, and with that being said, I do end up scoring pretty decent, and I was. I honestly was surprised by my score at the end of this game. Um, I remember when I saw it, I was like, what? Did that include bot kills? But I, I went and checked, and um, I checked my versus players KD and my pilot kills, and it was right. I didn't know I killed that many people, but apparently I did. I think it's because I started out so slow at the beginning of this match that um, it just seemed like I didn't get a lot of kills, because I'm guessing most of them came at the end. But, um, yeah, it ended up doing pretty good. And part of that was because I was playing against some players that, uh, I'm guessing were new to the game, maybe new to an FPS or so. And, um, or maybe didn't feel like busting the money on an Xbox One. And, and this game can be played on a pretty low end PC, in all honesty. So maybe, you know, people who aren't used to mouse and keyboard are using mouse and keyboard and they just couldn't aim well or move well with it. But um, I ended up winning a lot of gunfights in this match that I shouldn't have, in my opinion. I think I should have lost them. In fact, I was like, wow, a lot of times when I won a gunfight in this game. Um, but, you know, I guess that's to be expected on the first week of the, of the launch. A lot of new players to it. And I guess some of them aren't going to be as experienced at uh, FPSs as some of the other one, uh, some of the other players. But, um, yeah. It's, uh... That's all I really got to talk about the gameplay itself. Um, you know, just a neat little, for first my first game, it was a pretty neat little game. But um, I do want to talk about one issue I've run into, and that is uh, server disconnects. I have run into server issues. Uh, not, I don't want to say frequent, but f I guess often is the word. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of the same damn thing. But it, it's, you know, it's not like there's, there, there, it's happening all the time, but it's happening 
enough for me to notice, I guess is the word. I guess is how I'm, I need to describe it. Um, uh, God, my sore my throat is so sore right now. Um, but, uh, <laughs> um, shit, I've lost my train of thought. But yeah, uh, the server issue. And, you know, I expected this the first week of the game. Probably the first two weeks of servers won't be the best. That was what I was expecting. But, the thing that I found weird is that when I tried, one time when it disconnected, uh, I tried to reconnect. And what it did was it went to, it said it was trying to reconnect to an Xbox Live server. And that confused me. It was like, I know this is an Xbox console exclusive, so it makes sense for the Xbox One servers to be on um, the Xbox Live, of course. But I, I would think for the PC version that they would be on PC, that they would have dedicated ones for that. But apparently they don't, if what I read was correct when it was um, changing stuff around. So, I don't know how stable that is, trying to connect to uh, Xbox Live servers. Um, when you're on a, like something that isn't connected to Xbox Live, this is through Origin, so I, I mean, if I guess if, if as long as it's not disconnecting all the time, that won't be a problem. I know they they put out a patch for it that apparently went into effect like on the day the game came out. I didn't end up playing till uh, yesterday, two days after the game came out on Thursday, but um, you know, it still was happening to me, so I don't. I don't know what the deal is there. Maybe it's a stability issue that they still haven't worked out. But, um, yeah, a little bit of server problems. No, I've never been disconnected in a game, but I have been disconnected, um, when I'm scrolling through the menu. It wasn't because I was inactive, it was because I was just scrolling through and it just disconnected me. So, there is that. But, um, yeah, I, I'm enjoying the game so far. Uh, it's kind of nice having some more maps other than what was available in the beta. And, um, yeah, I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay play out, uh, and I'll have some more gameplays coming for y'all in the future, uh, probably going to try and do some live games, I don't know how it's going to work out, because how I record, it's kind of weird, and I don't know if I'm able to speak and have my voice recorded, um, without ruining the gameplay, because I like to record my voice and gameplay separate in case I want to take something out of the gameplay itself, but, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll try and get to work. If I have to, I'll just use my laptop to record my voice and do that separately and just email it to myself or something. But, yeah, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Um, if, if you like Titanfall gameplay, be sure to subscribe because I do plan on posting more of this. And I do plan on becoming more active with other games uh, coming up pretty soon as well. I do plan on... I have been having the urge to play The Last of Us again, so I'll probably start posting some of that um, again coming up pretty soon. And, um, maybe have some other games thrown in there as well. But, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you later.